I want to move now to the story of Jack Abramoff. In the 90s, the Washington lobbyists began showering gifts on lawmakers in return for votes and tax breaks that favored his clients. All of that came crashing down five years ago when Abramoff pleaded guilty to corrupting public officials, tax evasion, and fraud. He served three and a half years in prison. On last night's 60 Minutes, Abramoff told Leslie Stahl exactly how he used his clients' money to buy powerful friends and influence laws. I was so far in it that I couldn't figure out where right and wrong was. I believed that I was among the top moral people in the business. I was totally blinded by what was going on. Jack Abramoff was a whiz at influencing legislation. And one way he did that was to get his clients, like some Indian tribes, to make substantial campaign contributions to select members of Congress. As I look back, it was effective. It certainly helped uh, the people I was trying to help, both the clients and the Republicans at that time. But even that was, you're now saying, was corrupt. Yes. Abramoff would provide freebies and gifts, right. looking right. for favors for his clients in return. He'd lavish certain congressmen and senators with access to private jets and junkets to the world's great golf destinations like St. Andrews in Scotland, free meals at his own upscale Washington restaurant, and access to the best tickets to all the area's sporting events, including two skyboxes at Washington Redskins games. I spent uh, over a million dollars a year uh, on tickets to sporting events and uh, concerts and whatnot at all the venues. A million dollars? Yeah, yeah. For the best seats? The best seats. I had two people on my staff whose virtual full-time job was booking tickets. We were ticket master for these guys. And, uh, and the uh, congressman or senator could take his favorite people from his district to the, the congressman or senator uh, could take uh, two dozen of his favorite people from their district. Was all that legal? We would certainly try to make the activity legal if we could. At times, we didn't care. 